everybody video here for you today got a couple messages and a story pop up that really go together we are going down to germany today this is called the gothic circle right down here here's a look at the ancient henge this was rediscovered in 1991 when somebody flying over a farmer's field noticed a circular formation this henge people were watching the skies 7,000 years ago, this dates to around 4,900 and something BC, very ancient. People were watching the skies here 7,000 years ago. It's named the Gothic Circle just because of the small city here. But when I first looked at this and noticed these gateways down here, I knew what those were aligned to. These were ancient astronomers here, just like around the world. People were watching the skies a long time ago. Based on what they found here, they think there was two rings of palisade fences inside of this observatory, as some call it. But let's just watch where the sun rises on December 21st. Here we are before sunrise on December 21st. They were watching the stars and the planets too, along with the sky. I'm quite convinced of that. But the sun you see rises in perfect alignment with the gate on the southeast side of the circle there. You can see that perfectly right there. Here is the terrain where the monument sits, a bunch of farm fields out here. They do have an area here with information. Here at the site, they have three information pillars that give the history and the details about the alignments here about this place. That thing right up at the top really got me thinking here. Here's a diagram with those two alignments through the gateways, the rising and setting sun on December 21st. Here is a pic more towards the time period when this was rediscovered in 1991. But the wooden palisade fence and some of this is a reconstructed effort after it was excavated. But a Neolithic hinge here, pretty, pretty important, 7,000 years old, that's a long time ago. Just a little bit of the history here of the Gothic Circle. It says it is one of the oldest and best known circular enclosures connected with the Central European Neolithic. It is an early Neolithic circular structure with entrances adapted to the rising and setting of the winter solstice sun. It comprises of a set of concentric ditches of 75 meters or around 246 feet across and two palisade rings with gates in places aligned with the sunrise and sunset on the solstice days. It lies on the same latitude as Stonehenge, just over one minute of longitude further north. It lays on the same latitude as Stonehenge, just over one minute of longitude further north. It is the earliest known solar observatory presently known. It says this so-called circular enclosures is one of the larger groups in the Elbe and Danube region, most of them having similar alignments. Hundred of similar wooden circular hinges together with the Gothic enclosure were built throughout Austria, Germany, in the Czech Republic around 4600 BC. And while these sites vary in size, Gothic is around 220 feet in diameter, and they all have the same features. It says, while scholars had known about the structure for centuries, well, why wasn't it uncovered then? They were debating as to their exact function within the stroke ornamented pottery culture, which dominated Central Europe during that time. The Gothic Circle helped to provide an answer and as one of the researched enclosure, which was well-preserved, showed that the sites were used, at least in parts, to worship celestial objects and constellations. I just thought this was a great suggestion for a video. I had heard about this circle only by reading its name. I had never looked into it. But 7,000 years old, that's very old, and it reminds me of some hinges in, of course, the UK, and also in ancient America, but they say those may be only two or 3,000 years old. Here is a look at the very center of the circle here. There is a little plaque here. Some of you might have been wondering what that was. Here's another gateway at the site. This appears to be lined up perfectly north, but that'll give you an idea of the circular mound around it, the ditch around the outside, built 7,000 years ago. Here we are. I found it super interesting. This is on the same latitude as Stonehenge. Just a tiny, tiny bit off. Is that a coincidence? Only one minute of arc on the same latitude as the famous Stonehenge? Well, forget about current borders. I think Neolithic 
Europe was connected in ways that we can't even imagine. But if you like to explore on Google Earth, this might be a good area. If there's one monument out here, there's probably more. I see a lot of stuff under the ground here that looks a little suspicious, even right close by here. There seems to be small circles right under the right under the ground here. Oh, I got a message about the site, and that's why I looked into it. And I also had a message about a week and a half ago about another site in Germany, and I looked into it just briefly. And why don't we just go there right now, because this needs to be mentioned. This is a pretty important artifact, and a lot of people have talked about it. And I am talking about the Nebra Sky Disk. I know a lot of you have heard of that. I know other people have done videos on it. A lot of people have done videos on it, but... Here is the discovery of the Nebra Sky Disk. You notice they have these little formations out here, little museum right here. But this is where a very important artifact was found and the history of the artifact just by itself, just the history of the possession of the artifact is pretty fascinating. But here is where that famous artifact was found. Here is the Nebra Sky Disk. The dating on this, well, they think it's between three and 4,000 years old when it was buried exact age is not known for sure but the copper on here is turned to green with age the gold inlays are still gold they say these are depictions of the cosmos sun moon maybe an eclipse maybe the angles of the sunrise depicted on here are a couple items daggers if you want to call them that that were found with the nebra sky disk and a mound here they think this comes from about 1500 BC, roughly in that range, and I'm sure there's a big window there. They say the Nebra Sky Disk could have been in possession of these people for generations before it was put in the mound. So, date, we're not really sure about with the Sky Disk. Now, if you read about the chain of possession of the Nebra Sky Disk, it's quite fascinating. A couple people went to jail, legal possession of this object. It was recovered due to some undercover work, and then it was studied, and the importance of this kind of came out. Stars depicted on here, that's what some people think. The moon, of course, sun. Angles of the solstice right down here. Notice there is something missing that was here originally, right here. But that angle and that angle appear on the Gothic circle. People say, well, they were kind of charting the heavens so they knew when to plant crops. And personally, I've, I've heard people say that about this disc, and I find that a bit absurd. That is talked about with other alignment sites or other depictions of the heavens. And if the people were smart enough to make depictions of the heavens and align huge monuments to the sunrises, well, certainly they were smart enough to know when to plant crops. I find that explanation rather absurd. Now, there really hasn't been a consensus agreement on the star, the gold inlay is representing the stars, if that's in fact what they represent, but certainly the Pleiades right here. Some people say these down here, these three are Orion's belt. I don't know how they determine that, but it seems there are some pretty good guesses here based on some studying of this artifact, but no real solid answers. But certainly they were looking at the heavens. Here's a look at the terrain where the Nebra Sky Disk was found, the museum. This is about 15 miles away from the Gothic Circle, maybe a one-day walk. In so many of my videos, I talk about ancient astronomers. Here is where the Nebra Sky Disk was found. Not sure what the deal is with that triangle or pyramid-type structure there. I notice right down by the river here, there are these white or lighter areas. I wonder if these are the remnants of ancient mounds down here. Got to wonder that. I thought this was a great suggestion for a video. Got very interesting. The Nebra Sky Disk found 15 miles away. Well, that's no coincidence. This being on the same latitude as Stonehenge, just tiny bit off. That I don't think is a coincidence. These people knew a lot more than we give them credit for. The Gothic Circle, the Nebra Sky Disk, I believe they are connected through some sort of history here. I enjoyed making that video. That is a site from Germany, two sites from Germany, real close, both depicting the same thing. Watching the heavens. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.